So today I'll be talking about Gregory Green. This for me is probably one of my favorite cases. I've been fascinated by this case from day one. There are so many questions. It takes you through so many different emotions all at once. For those of you that are not familiar with the case, you will see where I'm coming from as you follow the story with me. Gregory Green is from Wayne County, Michigan, USA. 49 years old at the time of his conviction. So he was convicted of fatally shooting his 17 and 90 year old stepchildren and fatally poisoning his four and five year old children. In 2016, Gregory Green tortured his wife, Faith, shot and killed her two older children in front of her all while she was tied up and gagged with duct tape. The killings happened about one month after Gregory's wife had filed for divorce. So on September, on the day it happened, September 21st, 2016, a 911 call was received from Green, who told them that he had killed his family. When authorities arrived at the Green's home, they found him in the driveway and arrested him. Inside the house, they found his wife tied up and in the basement bound with duct tape and gagged. Her face was cut and her foot had been shot. Faith later recounted that she had watched her children die, shot multiple times in her presence. Bright Gregory. Wow, so painful. Can you imagine as a mother? Faith's older children, Chadney Allen 19 and Karen Allen 17, were found by authorities dead in the basement with multiple gunshot wounds. The younger children, Keo Green 5 and Kelly Green, were found in an upstairs room and were pronounced dead at the hospital. Authorities believe Green poisoned them with carbon monoxide. A little bit of background on Gregory Green. Years prior to this heinous crime, Gregory was also convicted of killing his pregnant wife way back in 1991. He stabbed her in the face and chest and he served 15 years in prison and was released in 2008. At a time just before his release, a local pastor by the name of Fred Harris had lobbied several times for Gregory's release. He was very vocal about his support for Gregory to be given a second chance as he believed that he had already paid for his lack of control when he killed his wife and unborn child. The pastor maintained that Gregory would be welcomed back into their church where he had been a member before he was sent to prison. And after Gregory's release for that murder, began dating the pastor's daughter, Faith. So Fred Harris, the, past, the pastor, his daughter is Faith Harris. And then they went on to get married and had two of their own children. And obviously Faith had two older children from a previous relationship. And they went on to live as a family, as happy as they would have wanted it to be because Faith went on to file for divorce, which obviously enraged Gregory and prompted him to go and carry out this heinous crime full of rage went on to kill wipe all her children out and the worst thing was he killed her children in front of her because as a mother you think what watching your child being killed in front of you and you can't do anything about it you know i found fate's words during the trial really painful to listen to as a mother myself, it really broke my heart. This is, this is an extract of what she said during the trial. Sometimes I dream of the night all this happened and wake up screaming. 
thinking that I could save my children. Then I realized that nightmare is actual reality and my children are really gone. And I try to find the strength to start my day somehow. I miss my children so much that words will never be able to explain. Some days I wish I had died. There's a hole in my heart and soul that can never be repaired. This will never heal. This wound will never heal. Honestly, I keep going back to say this case is just, it gives me goosebumps every time I hear or read about it. You know, I have so much sympathy for Faith and her loss, believe me, you know. And I think I cried actually the first time I saw this case. I can't imagine losing four children in such a horrific way, especially witnessing their killing in front of you. That must have been heartbreaking. How can she sleep in peace with the image of her dead children forever etched in her mind, you know? But in another side of me asks why she would marry and have children with a man that had already confessed and was convicted of killing his six months pregnant wife. She knew his murderous past and yet she was willing to date, marry and have children with him. Did she really believe that he had changed? How could you believe that a man that is capable of murdering, murdering, committing that kind of murder, six months pregnant wife, could have changed? Gregory Green will be 91 before he's released from prison. Good riddance. That's all from me today. What did you think of this case? Do you know much about it? How do you feel about Faith Harris marrying a convicted murderer, knowing about his past, you know, and then going ahead to have children with him? You know, for me, that's the biggest question for me. Please leave your comments, you know, let us think, understand where you're coming from. And see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.